like to hook up the Commodore 64 to his drive? Not to the Commodore, but to a modern day PC. You can do that. Hmm, so why would you want to do that? Maybe you want to copy your software over. Maybe, maybe you want to play the game directly off the Commodore drive on a PC using an emulator. You can do that. Mm. Well, to do this, we have to be able to plug the drive in. Let me show you something here. On the back of the drive, there's a serial cable and it goes to the Commodore 64. I'm gonna unplug this cable and get rid of the Commodore 64. Now I went on eBay and I bought this adapter. This adapter plugs into the serial cable. And I'm gonna plug into the, the PC. But before you do that, make sure the drive is off because a Commodore 64 drive is not hot swappable. Then I'm gonna plug in this USB. Oh, you hear that ding? It recognized it. I still have to download the drivers. So let's go to the computer and download. Download, download, download. Part one, I want to show you how to download the OpenCBM software. Now what I want you to do is download the OpenCBM file. I put the link in the description. Downloading, downloading. Open your file explorer and find your download. To unzip our file, we have to click on it. Then right click and hit copy. Now we have to paste it somewhere. I'm gonna put mine in the root directory. That way I know where it is. Uh, paste. There. Part two. Now I'm gonna test it to make sure it works. Yep. Go to your file you just unzipped. Mine was in the root directory. Right click on install, not left click, and run that as administrator. You gotta be an administrator, you know. Hmm, do you wanna install the necessary USB drivers? Hmm, yes. Huh, how long does it take anyway? This darn computer is slow. Yep. Snowball. Snow. Yeah. Oh, it's done! Press any key to continue! Now that we have it plugged in, and we downloaded the drivers, let's turn on the disk drive. And I can even put a disk in if I want. To see if our drivers work, go to OpenCBM, and then Run Test. So on the top here, it says it found the following drives as 8. Part 3. We gotta download Commodore 64 bytes. Yep. Now what you want to do is do a search for Commodore 64 Vice Emulator. Go to the web page. Here it is. Find the one that matches your PC and download. I'm downloading the 64-bit one. It takes a while. After that's done, let's unzip it. Copy. Paste. To run Vice, you have to find the folder you just pasted. Mine is right here. Yours might be in a different place. If I go into it, and I go down to bin, and I go all the way down. To x64sc. That's the file you run it with. Wow, that looks like my Commodore 64. However, we're going to close it because we have something else to do. All we have to do for number four is copy all the files that are in the OpenCVM folder, go to the Vice folder, and inside the Vice folder, there's a bin folder, and we've got to copy and paste them right there. You got that? Hmm. That sounds kind of complicated. Now what we got to do is get Commodore Vice to see your open CBM. There's a couple ways to do it, but the easiest way and sneakiest way is go... Program Files... 
where it says open CBM. You just copy everything in there. Now you want to go to the folder where you have your vice files. You might have it in a different spot. I have it in an app and there it is. Now go to the bin file and you want to paste those files here. Open up Commodore Vice. Go to Preferences, Settings, Peripheral Devices, Drive. In Device Type, change it to Real Device. Open CBM. Make sure that IEC device is checked too. I have a disk in a drive. Let's see what's on it. L I S D. No, we're gonna lose something. Oh, the drive is working. The problem with the drive, though, it takes forever. Forever. And ever. R U N. Montezuma's Revenge! <laughs> well, I hope you like my video! If you have any ideas of any videos you'd like for me to see, why don't you leave a comment in the comment section below? Ha <laughs> ha! Video game, video game, video game! See ya! <laughs> Is it done yet?